What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Here we are in the garage, I'm gonna pull the Evo outside. Um, first things first here, we are gonna be attacking some of the turbo side today in the S15. I have a new turbo elbow for it, so get rid of that shitty stock one. But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that EGR system. So I'm sure there's a way I could just plug it off or delete it or whatever. Cause it's just like, I don't know, it's probably something stupid, so. Um, but first we're gonna deal with that. Before anything, actually, we're gonna switch the cars over, get the S15 inside, get the Evo outside. And uh, yeah, here we go. But before we do any of that, I got some, some special news to tell you guys. 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. I watch my videos. What is that about? Come on guys, just, just hit the button, please. Not the cars inside, let's get this hood open. Mustard? Where? Mustard? What I'm Come doing on, man. Now, don't put no mustard on. You need to put a little seed on that thing. God! Yeah. Oh my god! Alright, anyways. Let's get this open so we can wrench on this bitch. Oh, I need two hands. Alright, this is a certified move, the hockey puck. You gotta do it, guys. You just have to, I'm telling you. If you care about your frame rails or your fucking, just your car in general, put it up on hockey pucks. Man, every time I look at this car, there's more fucking scratches and shit. Piece of shit. Alright, she's in the air. Man, every time I breathe on this car, it gets scratched and shit. It's insane, this car just losing its damn value by the day. It's fucked up. But yeah, I'm gonna get under this thing and see, uh... See where that pipe go. We can get a good look at those Nismo boys. Ugh, they're kind of falling apart though. Could sell, to, could sell this, this thing to Tommy Effie for fucking two grand. <laughs> Alright, well we made a nice discovery. As you can see, that's the EGR pipe. And whoever in Japan land just welded that thing shut. Because I couldn't for the life of me find where the line was. And I got underneath and I was like, oh. <laughs> We just weld that thing shut. So I'm just gonna leave that together like that and then just pop this off the downpipe. But yeah, cause I, I knew the, I couldn't find the EGR anywhere, but yeah, there we go. Makes my life easy. All right, so I just got the O2 sensor out. This thing has seen some shit. <laughs> I had to use a crow's foot wrench to get it out cause it was super tight, but I took this out first cause this is gonna tell us uh, if we can even change this right now. I'll show you guys, let me grab the uh, neck. Alright, this is not gonna work. I can already see it from now. Yeah, fucking knew it. <laughs> Cause just looking at this, this looks so tiny. And then this, where's the hole? O2 bung is like way bigger, so. Yeah, unfortunately I was right. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna throw that O2 sensor back in cause there's no reason for it to be out now. Just take price and pictures of the part number, just in case. Alright, as you guys saw from my last found, I just put the sensor back in that thing. I'm, I'm gonna th throw this bitch back on the ground and jack off the rear end and then uh, just do a little bolt check in the back because, I don't know, the back's making a bunch of noises and like, I know the diff makes noises because it's a two-way, but I just want to nut and bolt check everything just because, I don't know, who knows what the guy before you does, so always... Always give a good shake to all your tires and like make sure everything's tight because you don't want to be going down the road and stuff falling off. All right, now that the ass ends in the air, I'm gonna give each wheel like, just give everything a good like, oh God, the whole car's shaking. Give me a sec, let me set y'all down. Ugh. Like I like to give everything just a good like, like this is not gonna have you play like that, but. That's just moving. Oh, this has like some gold brake pads. Very cool. All right, so I got the rear wheels off. 
I just pop these brackets off. Uh, they're like brackets for this right here, the brake line. So um, I'm gonna sand these down, just give them a quick scotch bright and hit them with some paint. And then I'm gonna pop the wiper arms off right now and do the same thing there. All these just need like a fresh little slap of black on there and call it good. It's just the little things to clean up the car. So last time I messed with these, they were kind of a pain to get off. So I hope they're not a pain, but we'll see. Just got the wipers off. This car actually looks way cleaner without wipers. I'm not usually one of those guys that's a wiper deleter, but yeah, I gotta clean these boys up. They need a good sanding and just a good cleanup. So I was fighting with one of them forever. I'll show you guys why. Just a little trick if anybody else is doing this. These little, ah, whoa. These little things, so they're tapered, right, right here. But you have these little nubs. I was just like fighting with it push down on those nubs and you will have a way easier time because I was just fighting with it like jig jiggling around then I got the little screwdriver and just pushed it and then lifted right up and I was like ah nice one <laughs> so yeah just a little trick for if anyone else is doing that so I just got a bucket of soap here my parts on the ground I'm gonna give them all a good wash and then I'm gonna sand down everything all right now that they're all clean time to give them the old scuff and shoot scotch bright and then some black paint boy all right, everything's prepped. Ah, shaking up my paint, got my little makeshift paint booth back here. I'm gonna hit this with a coat of paint. Just blew my fucking wrist out shaking that, my God. First coat, very light. All right, good for now, first coat. All right, now that the first coat on that's drying, I'm gonna slap the first coat on one of the wiper arms. All right, this is what everything looks like after two coats. So these are the brackets, which are looking pretty snazzy. But the arms are turning out super good. So far these look real nice. It's not gonna be the greatest coverage on this end just cause the way I have them propped up is the hook is in the cardboard so it stays up. But to be honest, this side's gonna be clipped into the, uh, the wiper so you're barely gonna see it. And this is the driver's side. Yeah, they're looking really good so far. I think I'll probably do three coats on these. This is just the second one. And then that should be good. All right, I'm just going at all this with the heat gun. These are done. They turned out really good. This one is done as well, which also turned out super good. This one, I just threw a last coat on because I wasn't really happy with how I got the coverage on it, but this one's just drying still, but it looks really good. These are like night and day. Like before you guys saw them, they were pretty smoked, so. I'm really happy with how these turned out. All right, so I just threw those back on. Actual night and day difference. Like it's unbelievable how much that did. It makes the car look way cleaner. <laughs> like, holy, that used to make the car look so ratty. I love how these turned out. These look so good. Oh, frick. And even if this only lasts like a year, I'm fine with it. Cause it's not like I'm building this car to be a show car, but at least this stuff like this makes the car a little more presentable, right? Like. If I gotta paint these again in a year, like whatever. I don't really care, it's just makes the difference for the while. Now, what I really gotta do honestly is take this one off because this one's so bad. But I don't know how to take this one out. Like I'll probably have to do it from the inside, unfortunately. I'll have to look into that. I don't know if that's in the trunk or in the car. So I'll take a peek at that guy. I'm just dumb. There's a little cap that holds it, but this bolt is a little scary, so. I'm gonna soak it a little cause it's uh, oh, it's kind of scary looking. So I'm gonna soak that for a minute or two. All right, so I got it off. A little nut here that holds down a little backing plate that I also just popped off. It's just this little guy, just rusty. I'm just gonna blast it real quick and throw some paint on it. Just make it all look a little nicer. And then same thing with this thing. Oh, this thing needs a lot of prep work. It's pretty smoked, but. I'll just see how good I can get it. Like, I'm not worried about it being like show car-esque perfect, but it's just like these little things, like just make the car just look a little less ratty, you know? So I'm gonna go at these with some, with the orbital, I think, and see how it turns out. I'm gonna have to blast this one or some shit. This one looks like it has fucking AIDS or something. It looks real rough. Focus, beach. Focus. Focus. There we go. But yeah, no, I need to do something about that. 
Alright, so I would never recommend this to anybody ever, but it's just it's like some spot putty. I sand this down to bare metal. Threw some fucking spot putty on there. It's basically just like Bondo. <laughs> I would never recommend this ever. This is the jankiest way to do shit. Don't do this, people. I'm just doing this just because I'm going to be deleting the rear wiper. And I don't know. I just want to do that so it looks decent. <laughs> It's, it's a temporary fix, all right? As long as I do better later and fix it properly, all right? Don't judge me. But at least, hey, I could have hid this away from you guys, but we're doing it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let this fucking dry out and I'll sand it down and then we'll throw some paint at her. All right, I just threw a layer on my fucking putty filled thing and it still looks like shit, but I don't care as long as it's not rusty. Black now, and this thing's looking pretty good. It's just a little like washer ring thing, but yeah, this thing still looks like fucking shit, but whatever. <laughs> it's, it's at least not gonna be all flaky and rusty. Just making sure my cat's not there. Where's she at? Kira? Where's she over there? What you doing? Alright, now that everything's back together, the back ones, or the front ones, and the back one. Yeah, this is a this is like a a, a five footer, so don't worry about that one. We gotta test to make sure everything works. Obviously, right? Also, let me flex real quick. Listen to my fuel pump. Y'all wish you could do that. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, that's the mic. That's the. All right, fronts are working mint. Oh. Okay, everything's working. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna throw the wheels back on the car, lower it, and probably bring it outside again. Hope it doesn't rain tonight. It looks like it's gonna, because I hope this stuff holds up pretty good. So now the car goes outside, and the Evo goes inside. the next day. Oh, it smells like smoke. Gross. Here's a Sylvia. Um, we're going on a little field trip today. Just gotta start this baby up. There we go. Alrighty. But yeah, we're going on a little field trip today. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is till we get there, so... You guys will see. They're, uh, they're a calendar film. Okay. So it's a vinyl usually made to wrap. All right, so I couldn't film much, but I'll insert a picture here of the color I found. Actually, no, I won't show you guys because that's gotta be top secret. Um, but I'm gonna just run home here real quick because uh, I think this car is gonna get some new color on it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Big, big decisions, big decisions coming, guys. As you guys saw, I was looking through the colors and see. Alrighty guys, we are back home. Uh, as you guys saw, a little teaser of what we might do for the Sylvia. Um, still still a teaser for now. I can't, I can't really share anything with you guys because, you know, gotta leave you guys anticipated and excited for what's to come. But I'm about to order a bunch of parts for the S15, so this will be really good. I'm gonna get some stuff in, so hopefully in the next week or so I can, uh, I can just have some stuff on the go. But uh, either way, we have a really good video coming this week. 
<coughs> excuse me, this weekend. Um, we're going to be taking the S15 out, take some of the race cars out and stuff. So it's going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one was fun. A little nice day wrenching on Sylvia, making it all look purdy. But yeah, either way, hope you had a good night, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. And uh, 